Welcome! Today I'd like to show you Synthrotech Roboto and some ideas on how to use it. Roboto is a quite unique effect module. I would describe it as a lo-fi pitch shifter with bit crusher style sounds and as a sound transformer for vocoderesque robot voices. First I'm gonna show you the functions of the two different modes. We start with pitch mode. With a knob position at 12 o'clock you get a neutral pitch. Clockwise there's three steps up, counterclockwise three steps down. The rate knob controls the internal clock speed. It acts like a bit crusher. Switching to robot mode deactivates the pitch function and the device acts now as a vocoder effect. In this mode, the input level has a dramatic influence on how incoming audio is processed. The first CV input allows you to switch between the different modes by sending triggers or gates. Like in the examples later, I appreciate this as a creative tool to create more complex and glitchy patterns. There's also a CV input and a knob to turn vibrator on and off. If something is patched into the pitch CV input, it deactivates and overrides the pitch knob.
Voltage patched into the rate CV input is added to or subtracted from the knob position. The knob range is 0 to 5 volts, but the input voltage can go beyond that. You can also alter the chip speed on the backside of the module. A nice and simple way to use Roboto is as a companion to drums. Either for adding glitchy patterns to the drums or use the output signal to modulate parameters of the drum voices or further effects like for example a delay. To liven up the pattern, gates from a sequencer switch between the two modes. Modulation of the pitch applies only at the time the module switches to that mode, so it's very usable to create pattern with a big variation in it. In pitch mode, a Roboto can act as an additional sub-voice to another VCO or synth voice with an aggressive lo-fi character. Personally, I like to control Roboto with a contact mic to trigger noises manually in live situations. 
sometimes raw, sometimes plugged into effects like reverb, delay or a granular processor. In this example I'm using ears, which also provides envelopes and gates. Those can be used to switch modes, turn vibrato on or off, or control further effects. Of course, you can also use the module to affect real voices. You will hear the wet mix. I am saying 1, 2, 3 and test a few times. You can create partly random, almost self-generating textures and noises in combination with a sample and hold device. It's worth to experiment with both, sending the robot out into the sample and hold or the other way around.
As I mentioned before, the output signal of Roboto can also make a nice modulation source. In this example, a VCO sequence and a pad go into a delay. The sequence is also patched dry into Roboto. The processed wet signal is again used to modulate the pitch of the delay. So, the name says it all here. If you ever had the wish for your own little robot in your rig, Roboto is your recommended co-pilot. Definitely a specialist with its very own character, so its benefit depends very much on the style of music you want to create. Personally, I wouldn't want to miss mine. I hope you found this helpful and to see you around next time.